Kia ora ana viewers, welcome to December 2015's Earth Prediction Series, last one for the year. And I think you can all agree that November was a pretty rugged, turbulent month, and we had that strange reversal of the libido card, which in hindsight I think represented extreme mass compassion events, and they certainly did go globally extreme, just we seemed to really get connected with the Paris terrorist events. And um, in my earlier prediction for the year, I had talked about the whole terrorism activities gaining momentum and strength. And I also mentioned that for 2016. So anyhow, let's take a look at what's coming up for, um, for December. The, as I say, the last one for the year. And I uh, hope that it might be a slightly better energy and reading around the place. So let's see. Money. Prison. The skills card. The sage. Now. And the wheel. They are different cards than we've had previously. I put the citrine stone in the back of the reading because citrine is well known for its benevolent energies for prosperity, especially financial gain. And I see that the money card is the first one out, which often indicates to me signs of um, slowing up of the money sector. So something causing it to um, glitch, if you like. Uh, if you see here in the picture, these are um, silver coins sitting way underground in a field. And there's a farmer behind ploughing it in a rather barren, dry, inhospitable looking ground. So it immediately comes to mind money and trouble with money. So whether or not there's something globally that our money markets take some sort of either freezing, as if they shut down or whether money takes a fall so um, various currencies around the world may slow down or lower their value as well but given that this is a silver coin um, it makes me think of silver itself as the financial investment that it's going to take a bit of a downturn in this time frame I also think of very, um, we look at this as being underground, so possibly underground activities as well, and things coming to the surface. So again, you could, if we're talking um, theoretical, it could be issues that are hidden and underground and evoked and are brought to the surface one way or another, and it could also con consider underground energy in the whole of the planet, such as um, volcanic activity, anything to do with tunnels or mining, um, as well as quake-related activity. In fact, I notice when looking through the lens of my camera that it's particularly hard to see the card I was just talking about. So I will move them over and um, move them down like this and see if that makes a difference. A little bit easier to see. So this is the money card that I was referring to which was a little bit hard to see in the first part of the video. Right next to it we see this prison card. So we've still got the feelings of being trapped in underground energies. Um, we've also got the feeling, well that's really interesting now that I have changed the dynamic or the layout of the cards. It wasn't until I saw what's just occurred to me um, that we have these two cards sitting on top of each other with these really strong rays of sun. So there's going to be something in December that the sun brings into activity. And most of you will know I follow suspicious observers and I hope most everyone does follow him. In fact, I notice when looking through the lens of my camera that it's particularly hard to see the card I was just talking about. 
So I will move them over and um, move them down like this and see if that makes a difference. A little bit easier to see. So this is the money card that I was referring to which was a little bit hard to see in the first part of the video. Right next to it we see this prison card. So we've still got the feelings of being trapped in underground energies. Um, we've also got the feeling, well that's really interesting, now that I have changed the dynamic or the layout of the cards, it wasn't until I saw what's just occurred to me um, that we have these two cards sitting on top of each other with these really strong rays of sun. So there's going to be something in December that the sun brings into activity and most of you will know I follow suspicious observers and I hope most everyone does follow him be because Ben Davidson and his team of sus at suspicious observers are making groundbreaking scientific results in the observation of space and the universe around us and how it interacts and connects with most everything that happens to us on earth so there, there does appear as though there's going to be some large solar activity or something that is relevant with the energy from our sun. Sometimes when we get large ejector flare headed towards us, which helps um, is magnetized particles, creates the auroras that we see. It also can induce big storms here on planet Earth as well as quake related activity. So there could be an increase in that or there could be quite a hefty amount of it happen in December. Watch out then for any of you out there who are interested in Aurora watching. There could be some really good ones coming and you might notice them um, more laterally down the globe than would normally be possible. We think of this as being harvest time so I think sometimes the northern hemisphere will perhaps notice some of these occurrences more than other parts on the globe. I also see that where it's kind of um, energetically connected to the sage and I always think of him as sitting there with this book and he's writing mathematical equations and I often think of him as being an observer of the universe and the skies in particular. So some sort of physics equations or um, mathematical energies to do with watching our skies. Now sometimes this can be when new asteroids are found or comets are traversing the skies or we might have um, sun diving comets in December. There might be some unusual planetary lineups as well but it does hark that sort of energy. And the other thing I think of with the Sage card is quite often um, political leaders large of large countries and um, being brought into the arena one way or another. So there might be some unusual activity or statements made by one of the top leaders around. The other person I often think of is the Pope when this card comes out. So we'll see what activities the Pope is up to in December and whether he makes unusual headlines in any way or some of his actions or some of the things he is doing. We come to the skills card and I up here I think of it as being a card of war because it's the bow and arrow. Ground war by the looks because the arrows are coming, they've fallen from the sky and come down into the ground. So again it could be things falling from the sky. We, we're thinking of the sky in three of these cards. We see them a bit connected here and this is the sun energy as well as other things coming from the skies. Um, yeah, that just does have a feeling of man-to-man -man combat and war in the skills card. So I don't know if this is going to be terrorist related and see some more inbound energy with that or whether it's going to be more the Middle Eastern crisis and um, Russia and USA and France and the UK teaming up to do some land and man-to-man -man combat. That'll be something to watch as well. We come down here to the last card, the wheel. The wheel seems to make logical sense in today's age. We are going through huge changes and the wheel indicates this 
perpetual cycle of change and nothing remains static, everything is constantly on the move. And I often think when it's here, it associates with really big movement, really big changes going on, you know, at the psyche of people, um, changes and paradigm shifts within a lot of the belief systems around, some of which are obviously good, some of which are painful, and most of all of these changes cause disruption one way or another within society. I see the wheel and the wheel up here as such, so the two big round messages there about time, evolutionary cycles. Oftentimes when this card comes as well we see um, unusual historical things being unearthed up from out of the ground. So antiquities that we didn't know existed come to the forefront when this card is around as well. So um, keep an eye out for that. Possibly the sage is also linked into that. And the other thing with the wheel, we see this really fast spinning water. So I think of um, turbulent waters that may be involved in really heavy downpours of rain or storm related energy that just are roaring through. You think of them like inland tsunami energy. So um, the prison sometimes can be prison related issues that actually occur within prisons, but definitely um, trapped, stuck within um, yeah just feeling defeated or trapped stuck um, and the Sun plays a big part in that the, to be honest these aren't too bad of cards they're a little bit interesting with possibly the money market um, but there definitely could be much more negatively geared cards within the deck so I think for December there is some um, light, we see plenty of light coming in, so I guess it's just how we all pick that up and address it so hey guys, thanks very much for listening to these series, I really enjoy doing them, I have also attached previously on videos how the philosophy of all this um, connective energy works and it's all part of collective consciousness, it's also to do with the archetypes in life which is part of the human psyche, so it involves psychology, archetypes, collective consciousness, among other theoretical evidences that uh, have traversed many very famous minds who have learnt this material and then been able to pass it on. So consequently that is how the readings work and that's my evolutionary process with them as well. So again, thanks everyone. Have a wonderful, safe December. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Christmas to me is very much the spirit of giving. And um, if we all gave a little bit more in life as opposed to taking, what a wonderful place we would be in. So be safe, be happy, have much joy, happiness, love and harmony. And I'll see you all again in January. Ka kitea noa, much aroha, namaste.